Hi guys, I want to speak a bit about today about what's going on in Palestine. I'm sure a lot of people are watching the news and are seeing that uh, it is craziness. It's absurd and uh, on a lot of levels very sickening. Uh, my heart is going out to them and you know we all forget I think sometimes how lucky we are that we live in such a country like Canada. I wanted to speak briefly just from an immigration perspective. You may be a Canadian citizen or permanent resident with a family member, friend, relative, etc who is currently living in Palestine and is currently going through this, uh, these difficult times that they're going through. Um, and you may be thinking to yourself, is there anything I can do to help? Um, Canada has something called the refugee system. We are signatories to the Geneva Convention that was signed in uh, 1967 by the current Prime Minister's father, Pierre Elliott Trudeau. And this was pretty much to assist in the safeguarding and protection of refugees worldwide. Um, in that system, there is an avenue whereby you can sponsor a refugee who is outside the country, and there are certain requirements you would have to meet. Um, if you're coming together as uh, individuals, there's something called the Group of Five Refugee Sponsorship. The Group of Five Refugee Sponsorship allows for five Canadian citizens or permanent residents says, who would like to come together to sponsor a refugee in need of protection and bring them to Canada. Now, the five people, what is required of you to qualify is you must meet the low income cutoff levels that are found in the federal guidelines that is also known as the LICO. And that goes by your individual family unit. If you are a family of three, you have to meet, you know, X amount of dollars in order to qualify. And all five people in that group of five must qualify financially. If you find five people who do qualify, you guys can come together file an application to the minister whereby you're undertaking to support and uh, assist in the economical establishment of a refugee immigrant. Now the refugee themselves, um, they cannot be in the current country that they are claiming fear from. So one of the components for the refugee is they must be displaced, meaning they have come out of the country they're seeking protection from and gone to a neighboring country. Okay, And once they get to that neighboring country, what you have to advise them is contact the local UNHCR office, the United, Nation of, uh, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. When they go to that office, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, one of their officers will assess the refugee and they will issue them something called a refugee claimant document. Basically a letter of support indicating the fact that they have assessed this individual and this individual is a refugee. Um, if you do have somebody in that type of situation who has, you know, displaced themselves from a war-torn country or a country in which they're seeking protection from, such as Palestine, such as many other countries in the world, um, then you guys can move forward in assisting them as a group of five sponsorship. There are something also called sponsorship agreement holders. You generally find this in the capacity of churches and stuff like that. Um, however, uh, it could be difficult to uh, get in contact with them. However, you can look them up and see if they're willing to assist as well. So, some of the main things that you got to look at is the person you want to assist, are they displaced? Do they have access to a UNHCR office? And do, can you come up with five individuals who can financially qualify? Or can you find a sponsorship agreement holder to assist in the sponsorship of a refugee? I hope this information helps. I hope some of you uh, will be able to assist a family member, friend, or something like that through this process and get them to this beautiful country we call Canada. Have a great day, guys.